I just had to change the light as well because it's not the the light in here, the sun's come out now and it's, it's changed everything. Okay. I've got the colours for the sky I want you to guess. Now you maybe see it better. And the colours here, about right. Maybe the colour in the uh, the roof there on that roof is not quite dark enough. Um, um, striking enough. Let's try some light red. See if Ted use light red. Clean it out as much as possible. Take that away what's hanging off the end of the brush and get back to where I put this light red on. I think that's dark though, isn't it? What do you think? Better? This is a little ridgy, so... This is a little wall. Hello? We'll do a few little things here and then we'll put the, the water in last, eh? We'll just have some dirt just at the top. Cry right at, at the top of the window only hey. I'm just I'm a Thing will just change a little bit as we go on. Oh, that's wrong, isn't it? That. that to... Maybe too much colour in that area. So, just let's see if I can get these dirty, dirty marks off. I don't think we can. Oh well, never mind. So, when it comes to our, uh, our reflection, we we'll want this white here, won't we? And, uh, a bit of light there. And then where's that? It, it like compresses it, doesn't it, a bit? So, that one. So we'll have a bit of red there. And where's that other bit of red here? A bit of green in front of it, though, isn't there? Hey. Compress that a little bit. So there's them. I'll compress that. Now we know where we're going with that big tree. So here we go. We'll just uh, wet it in. Then we'll make some sky blue. So we're not going to colored ball with it. We we'll patch it here. Along here, coming that way to uh can't have any ears. We could have a bit across that line, couldn't we? Yeah. 
wonder where we are. That's uh, I'm going to touch that again in a minute. My first thing is we want some dark on that. Want a bit of dark here, don't worry, is it here? A bit of uh, yellow into it there. That's darker now, is it? Uh, not too dark, of course. I don't think we need it too dark, do we? Okay, we'll just leave that for a minute. Let's just uh, give it a dry brush. I think some of the hardest things to do is keep the blinking brush straight. Now let's just see how dark this is against this one. Oh no, it's not dark at all. Too dark, what is it? Perhaps done when wet would be better. Hmm?
Okay, now that up to there. So all we need to do now is uh, put our branches in, like all that day. So we'll have a minute. Okay, now looking at this, this uh, this tree, I think it's fine. It's it's typical Ted Wesson type tree. It's not tried to be a tree. If you try and make it a tree, it does. This is more like conventional trying to make it look like a tree. How a tree is. Now this is a tree. What's not like a tree is, and yet doesn't it look much better? And especially when you were. Uh, you add its branches it, it really it does a lot for it, it, it say now say this branch oops now you notice uh, I've not tried to make it thin well it's funny but uh, didn't uh, James Fletcher, Watson used to say, give it some beef. You know, give it some beef. <laughs> yeah. The scrawny trees like umbrellas. They practiced all their life doing fine little trees and still doesn't look right, does it? It's too conventional. This, he, he made it look as though he wasn't trying to do a tree at all. But the beauty of it is, it is a tree, you know, when he's done it. It's, <laughs> I can't understand that, you know. I mean, look at that. You wouldn't say that was a tree, would you, eh? You think, well, that's more like a tree than that, but that grabs your eye, especially with a bit more dark on this side. It would have really pulled you into it because look at that tree, isn't it? It does a different shape. It's unusual. Yeah. a bit wrong here I could put more colour in you know but if this is the type of thing I want to get is on this now this colour is Ted's colour now give us give us that colour in your swatch or something now let's have a little look at this when you get your, this round it should improve it a little bit maybe we are a little bit not quite portrait enough this is where if you're not careful when it has raw round so that I won't have this tree near the edge sometimes you think well I'm drawing I'm, I'm gonna I'm painting in here so this is near the, this is not near the edge but when you put your your you mount on it becomes near the edge so I must try and remember and you must like in the other paintings of them is bring them in a bit I mean I've been painting seven above 70 years I was uh, about 11 when I was uh, on the canal during the war actually so <laughs> well yeah, maybe maybe I was five, but, but even more, just before the, up to the war. Uh, what would I be then? I was thirty. No, I wasn't. Yeah, it was five, wasn't it? I was five. But I watched my my dad draw. He used to always be drawing pit ponies. He was down the pit, my dad. He was a miner. 
and he always was drop, uh, showing miners pulling uh, iron tubs, you know, or uh, a miner at the cold face with the, the lamp, the miner's lamp on the light. He was always painting pet ponies and that. He had a favourite pet pony, you know. And my Uncle John was killed by one of those. Uh, it run, run, run loose one of the young, young lads who was only about ten who was looking after the uh, what they call shackling the clubs the, the uh, shackling it was on what they call shackling shackling is when when you uh, throw a big hook round uh, the tubs so they won't run down uh, down a hill inside the mine they call that a, it was a shackling shackler they have names for those lads and lads in the in the pits. They called them Dakelers. It was on Dakler. Are you a Dakler? Any pit men around there or any miners and colliers around Pennsylvania in America should know these terms as well. Anyway, thanks for looking. Yeah. A lamp man uh, that was another. I'll, I'll think of some more for you and see if you remember them. You colliers, if there's any old colliers left. Bye bye, take care of y'all, see you later.